Happy Wednesday to you all and a good afternoon or good morning. It is a wake up call, wake up call with Craig and this is Crafters TV that you are watching. This is the start of our first live show of the day of, of course, as I say, Wednesday the 16th of June. And uh, do you know what? It's another cracking day we've got lined up. It's Wednesday, which means we've got a launch. It's Wednesday, which means we've got creative craving. So tell you what, let's dive straight in. Launch day coming up with Debbie and Ben. This is all about our brand brand new frame stamp and die collection. Now when it comes to these ones here, when it comes to die cutting, this is what my die cutting is. I love this where you've got big frames that you can see them here on your screen. Then we're going on to Creative Craven. So that is also with Debbie and Ben as well. So we're going to be uh, going over a mixture of a few different sort of demos that you can expect coming up. It's when it comes to uh, Creative Cravings later on, we've got Letters from the Heart from Sarah's Signature and we've even got as well our outline dies. And let me tell you, this is on a phenomenal deal. Now, those three are my picks of the show. We're going to be going over them just shortly in a wee bit more detail. But with it being Wednesday, it means it's Random Act of Kindness Day. Now, what we've done is yesterday, kind of last minute, we're going to mix it up slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little segment, maybe around about 10 minutes or so later on, and we're going to make a little, well, we're going to make a gift. Now, I've used many different crafty products that I have within my stash. You'll be able to follow along later on and do your own take on it. But what I'm going to do is after we come off live on Wake Up Call, I'm going to go through in the head office, which is just next door, and I'm going to gift it to one person through there in the office just to say as a thank you, just to say, you know, we appreciate everything, of course, all of you do in the office, but we're going to gift that to one person. But what we need to do is we need to have someone at the head Helm to keep me on track of the timings because when it comes to any crafter we just craft and craft and craft the main person that's going to be doing that is of course Ben he's back with me again today and uh, what we've still got we're on, we're on together tomorrow is this our last day no 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 last day for me today only three oh. only three yes oh who said part-timer that's outrageous i thought mrs mosby was in the building then for a second oh you're such a part-timer um it is lovely to be here yes for my final day this week and i tell you what we continue with members week um, if you haven't been with us yet this week you won't know about it but if you're already a club inspire member this is a great week for you because we've got double points um, across all of the How deals much? double points oh yeah we've got three for two deals on things like adhesives and cardstock and gemini machine accessories you'll see all of that on the web as well plus uh, each and every day we're giving you a free gift uh, basically all you have to do is spend 10 pounds or 10 dollars and it How will much? 10 pounds or 10 dollars and it will automatically get added into your car it's a different free gift each and every day and today's handpicked by our very own debbie fisher it's this is hilarious because she's in later on it's the letters from the heart <laughs> wax seal kit that is your free gift and the great thing is of course as craig's already mentioned we've got uh, that collection on a little bit later on creative cravings and um, that's worth obviously over 10 pounds or 10 dollars so this will automatically be added into your car uh, when you purchase it this free gift worth 14.99 or 16.95 so just get shopping and your free gift will get dropping I did just make that up, Johnny, you're correct. Um, and of course, as Craig has mentioned, uh, right throughout the show, we're looking for your random crafts of kindness. We've got a couple of stories to feature on the show today, but that doesn't mean that you can't get your story in. So when have you crafted? Use your crafty skills to put a smile on somebody's face. Maybe it's a family member, whether it's a, uh, a stranger, whether it be you crafted for a school, um, a nursing home, whatever it might be, send in your stories, please, uh, via the usual channels on Facebook or on YouTube, or indeed, if if you want to send in your pictures as well, you can send those to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and we'll try and feature your pictures either today or next Wednesday when we're back because we run this each and every Wednesday. So it would be lovely to share your stories with everybody else. Right, we look forward to hearing from you throughout the show, but we have got plenty to be telling you about because it is a busy old day, day three of Members Week and Craig is over in the kitchen to show you some of the deals that you might just want to be putting into your carts. 
Absolutely. We're going to uh, highlight the three main picks of my uh, my picks of the show as well. First of all, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a look at launch day. So launch day coming up with Debbie and Ben, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. And this is our Gemini frame stamp and die collection. 43 elements included and... 10 sheets of Centura Peril cardstock as well. Everything that you can see on the screen now, you've got four sets of your frame dies, but you've got stamps with a, with a num and outline dies too. Now, everyone, old or new, £50 or $60. However, if you are platinum, you're going to be paying £40 or $48. So, I know, £40 or $48. Now, here in the UK, as well as you guys, Europe, you're going to be saving 25%. You guys, stateside, you're going to be saving over 20%. And as it's members week, are you ready for this, Ben? Stateside, half price shipping. Half price shipping. So straight away as well, because of the price of it, it takes you over the $10, £10, 10 euros. So you're getting your free gift, you're getting your double points, you're getting that discount as well, and you're also getting free shipping. So an incredible day, with it being launch day, it is of course wake up call. So this is now your chance to shop ahead when it comes to the website. But that is launch day. What I've then done is I've taken two picks coming up from Creative Cravings. And the first one that we're going to be having a look in a moment or two is going to be, uh, well, we're going to go between the Sarah Signature Collection and then we're also then going to be going along with the Outline Dies. So what we can do just shortly is the Outline Dies is what we're going to be having a look at towards the end of the show. So you'll be able to see them. Uh, we've got, oh, are we going for Sarah Signature instead, are we? Oh. No, outline dies, we're going to go for the outline dies. The details coming up just in a moment or two. The decorative outline dies in full bloom and sweet succulent. Now, 14 elements in total because you've got the die, you've got the stamps as well included. Ev ben, everyone, everyone is paying £11.99 or $14.97. Platinum price, £9.59. Platinum, £9.59. Is that or right? Or $11.98. I'm questioning that. Look at, look at your saving. £27.99 or $34.93. That is your saving. John has just said he's doubled checked and it's right enough. So as I say, you've got your 14 elements in total because you've got the dies, you've got the stamps as well. So that's the decorative outline dies in full bloom and sweet succulent. That's what's coming up in Creative Cravings with Debbie and Ben. That is of course 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Sticking with Creative Cravings. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at all of this on the screen right now. And this is Sarah's signature, Letters from the Heart. Now, 99 Nine elements in total here. Originally, here in the UK and Europe, you were saving 15% and over 10% for you guys stateside. Due to it being Members Week, the discount has dropped a further 25% further 25%. Now, uh, if you do want smaller options, then you can go to the website and there's 10% off the individuals. However, £44 or $62 for you guys stateside, that's what everyone pays. But platinum, £35.20 or $49.60. It does say there that there's 99 elements. What I do want to point out as well, just in case, because Letters from the Heart, today's free gift is the wax seal kit. It's not included within this little bundle, which is a good thing in the fact of you're not going to get two handles of that. Of course, you could be then just gifting it, but it's going to mean that you can get Letters from the Heart collection and straight away with your price, you are over the £10, $10, 10 euros, which means it's going to go into your basket anyway. You don't need to do anything. Automatically, it goes into your basket. Automatically, it gets checked out. So, of course, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. For you guys in Europe, go across to your website all your information will be there as well. But whatever we go through on Wake Up Call, on Launch Day or Creative Cravings, make sure the one thing that you do is always check out the Platinum Prize. If you're not in the club, we'll go over it throughout the show and throughout the day. It's free to join and you can then be getting all these benefits as well. We're only day, what, day three, Ben? And already, you know, some incredible cracking deals that we've had. 
Absolutely right. Uh, if you aren't, like Craig says, a member, this is the week to be joining up. If you uh, go to our website, uh, hit the Club Inspire page, it's literally like a few things you need to fill out and then straight away you're shopping, you've got 250 points for joining up with us and you'll get 20% off your first order as well. So that price there uh, would be applicable to you as your first order with us here at Crafters uh, Companion. Uh, lots of people already in. Hello to Liz from South Wales and Linda from Maryland. Uh, um, good morning to Georgianne from Clearwater, Florida. Uh, Liddy says, hi everyone, including the part-timer. <laughs> uh, looking forward to today's shows. I work very hard when I'm here. Well, uh, Sandra says, uh, Debbie needs to demonstrate the free gift. I've just been allocated for my order. Uh, and Gina on Facebook saying, for Debbie, she is never, ever living that down. We shall definitely get Debbie to demonstrate the free gift for you uh, a little bit later on. She's on good form if you were watching yesterday evening. Oh boy, oh boy, we had a good laugh. She'll be in, she was giggling and giggling and giggling. She's been naughty. But Debbie, giggling? The, yeah. Never. Yeah. Well, I love it. Debbie just sort of stops that giggling down here, doesn't she? And then the giggle gets higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. She'll be back later on. One thing which is also back with us is our Get It Got It Good deal. This is brilliant if it's storage you're after and if you love your Totally Tiffany products. This is brilliant because you're getting a, well, a huge range of uh, buddy bags, including the Sara buddy bag. They're particularly good. Maybe if you've got uh, a lot of our Spectrum Raw products, maybe you bought the acrylic marker pens yesterday. Uh, we've got the Terry buddy bag included in this deal. We've got Sue, Barbara, Monica and Teresa uh, to be able to hold a whole host of crafty goodies. Um, including that you're seeing your um, your tape dispensers, your ribbons, um, things like your inks as well. It's a brilliant deal. £23 or $33 uh, is the deal on this one. We've been talking a lot about storage recently, getting everything in check. That is a great way to get yourself sorted and also brilliant if you're thinking about um, crafting out and about with friends as well. You're going to need something to carry all your stuff around with uh, and that is perfect. That deal, by the way, is just live this week or whilst stocks last. Um, as always, do get in touch on Facebook and YouTube. Random Crafts of Kindness coming your way in just a little bit. And as I said, if you've got any that you want to highlight, you can send them in on the comments as well and we shall read through those uh, and feature a couple of stories. Uh, in particular a little bit later on but another day another launch these are coming thick and fast we previewed these last night on launch party and already lots of you have been having a little bit of a nibble because 10 percent of the stock has gone show's not on until three o'clock uk 10 o'clock east coast but let's have a good look now because as craig was saying earlier on this is a great chance to jump in and grab these uh, before the mad rush which will ensue later i am sure these are great craig aren't they that are. As I said at the top of the show, this is my sort of die cut and big background frames. Now, uh, what we're finding is there's a, a trend happening, certainly on a launch day, you guys are coming in and wake up call and getting your orders in your basket checked out and confirmed straight away. So it's a recurring thing and it's grown and grown and grown each wake up call where there's a day with a launch. So you're doing the right thing, making sure that you get yours, certainly with 10% already gone. But to start with, what we're going to do is let's have a look at these uh, uh, cool black and white boards and they are cool because they show off just perfectly what you are going to be getting now within this one here what you can see the actual decoration being of the daisy frame here you've got two dies so you've got the main decorative frame die that cuts into your card then what you've got is the outside die so that releases it for your card or it gives you a matte and layer this obviously gives you the aperture you've got the celebrate die this is how it would start to look if you've layered it up on top of each other, but then this is what it'll look like if you then cut into your card blank. But because you've got the word celebrate, what you've also got is these stamps. <laughs> so you can then, ha oh, someone's got the giggles. No, I've just seen one of the uh, sentiments on there. Celebrate with lots of cake. Yeah. <laughs> funny isn't it i love it it's a fun one and yeah. it's a good one so you can have uh well, apparently johnny loves man he loves the loves cake, cake. <laughs> charlotte on the other hand mm, she can take it or leave it so it's all right she prefers wine so this one is your celebrate and then you can have on your special day or you can have celebrate with style the good times with lots of cake love cake together 
forever and ever. New beginnings and let's. So you can have let's celebrate. No reason why you can't mix and match all the other sentiments coming up. But within that one there, that one is your daisy frame. Then what we've got on this one, this is very symmetrical on this one here. So you'll be able to see this is your floral opulence frame. I always want you to remember Think of your foil press. Oh, yeah. Remember how you can foil using your normal wafer thin dies. So then that means all the outline parts that would die cut, then foil instead. Looks elegant and sophisticated. So all of these are the same concept where you cut in, cut out your card. You've got birthday, but then you've got your sentiment stamps here. So we've got, could be birthday, girl, boy, to you, it's your happy wishes celebration. If only we'd known two people, two very special people at Working Crafters Companion whose birthday's coming up yeah. shortly. Nobody, is there? But we don't. Can't think of anyone. No, and they just happen to be in the building together today as well. Do they? Where could that be? Where I have no idea. Oh, I know. You and Debbie, innit? Oh, so it is. Yeah. Is that on Monday? Monday. Oh, yeah. happy birthday. How old are you going to be? 40... Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. 36. 36? I know, I don't look at it. 36, 36, are you? 36. 36, well, yeah. I was 36 when I was your age. Yeah, you really are in your 40s, aren't you? Are you? I'm not nearly 50. I'm a very young looking, I'm sure you'll agree, 42. Can't believe that, can you? No, you can't actually. Makeup is a wonderful thing. It is, you looked rough this morning when you came <laughs> in. Outrageous. Just get on with your job, yeah? Should have seen me. I was, fil <laughs> I was filming something, hence why the purple this morning. Anyway, let's uh, carry on here and let's have a look. So this one being the next one, it's all about the love hearts here. Cut in, cut out of your card stock here. Love and frame, more specifically, that it is named. This one is more of a square. So you've got your sentiment stamps too. So you've got you is all that matters with sending and kisses, you lot you so much. That's then going to work in conjunction with the love die at the bottom here. Now these bits here with the hearts, some of them die cut out. Don't bin them, keep them and use them elsewhere. Then last but not least, now this is everything you're getting Ooh. within the frame die bundle. This one, I think this could potentially be the one that you guys are loving the That's most. That's amazing botanical frame mm. all about now this could be roses it could be peonies it could be a variety of different flowers here but you've not got the symmetrical look which works really well when you want to go with that organic kind of looking and flow like you would get with nature good one for paper piece in here but you've got friends as the die cut and then if I pop it that way so we can see them all are hard to find Make the world a better place, forever, true, best, are the family we choose for ourselves. So that is another really good one, another square one as well. So you've got two that are squares, two that are rectangles, and don't forget, you're also getting your 10 sheets of Centura Pennell cardstock on top of that. We are going to do a demo, but let's show you some inspiration as what you can do. Because you can cut in and out of your card, you can create smaller frame borders if you want to. Of course, then you can then start to bring in your Ultimate Pro oh, and your it. Score Master. Do all your concept cards. Not forgetting, you can do them in the top of lid boxes. Ben, what about doing envelope, envelope boxes or envelopes? Yeah, absolutely. And then cutting into your card and also back in with acetate if you want. These ones, and a lot of the design team have done shakers with these ones, and instantly it does shout out shaker form. So you've got your frame part here, and then another one, again, join them together to make your bigger oh, card brilliant. blanks. See how lovely that looks. Mm. And the good thing with these, and really any of our frame dies that you get, what you can then do is you don't need to spend a lot of time because what you've done is you've done the die cut and then that's what's given you the decoration. The semperament's given the focal element as well. Um, 
still go, yeah, still go. And Johnny was saying that they're really busy on the website as well. You're seeing them already, and they are one. They, I would always say, framed eyes are always a staple, Ben, because they enable you to do that quick and simple card, still give you that wow factor. Yeah. But then what you can do is you can go far and beyond concept cards, shaker cards, frame, large cards, small cards, lots of different ways in which you can do them. So I think what we will do is let's take our glitter card. I've taken baby pink, and then what I'm going to do to start cutting, and then we'll have a look at the comments, is we're going to go in with the daisy frame, and then I'm going to come in only with the main die itself. Now the glitter card I have cut to three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And you've heard me say, you know, a few times, any of our dies, Ben, that have outline dies to go with them, I don't actually use the outline die a lot. Do you not? What I do is I cut my cardstock to the size I want. Got you. And then just use the cardstock. But the option is there, and that's what we're all about when it comes to many of our dies, and that is giving you option and versatility. And then also, last thing before I die cut this, Anything like this with detail, what I always like to do is pop in my metal shim, specifically where I'm using the glitter card as well, so we're going to get that cracking die-cut line yeah. all the way throughout the back. Uh, just to say, it's not Craig's birthday yet, getting a few happy birthday messages coming through. It's on Monday when he's going to be, how did he say, 40, 46? Uh, 36, apparently. 36. Uh, Linda says, the beard makes you look older, Craig. Oh, it does. In a good way. You should see what I'm like when I don't have the beard. I don't think on. I've ever known you without a beard. Uh, I oh. think there was there was once, maybe start of the year or something, I shaved it a bit too short. Yeah. And it was close to not being a beard. Yeah. Um, but Char no. Charlotte says you should shave it off so we can all see what you look like without your beard. Maybe. Maybe one day. Yeah. Give it a shot. But you look very young. I do. I, do. I look really young when mm. it comes to not having the beard. I don't, I, I don't like not having it. I'd love to be able to grow a beard like yours. I can't, I, I, I just can't do it. I've tried before and like, you know, like Movember. Do you have Movember in, in the US where you guys grow their beards out to raise money for charity? I can grow a tash across here like Magnum and I can grow a little bit just down there. I end up looking like one of the musketeers. But oh, do you? Yeah, I, I can't grow round me chops like you. I just, it just doesn't, just doesn't, just goes like fluff, fluff. <laughs> Charlotte's just gone, me neither. Well, that's good news. Um, so yeah. Maybe this November I'll, I'll, I'll grow my tash out again. Yeah, you should do. Maybe this uh, November I will shave it off. Or maybe at the end of October I'll shave it off. I'll regrow it in November. And then regrow it in uh, November. Yeah, we could sponsor you to do it. Yeah, we could do that. You get Joe to shave his off as well. Will we do that? Yeah, I'm yeah. up for that. We can do that. You then. Can, and we can all compare. You can see how painfully slow mine grows as compares to yours. Because I bet you don't shave for a day. You've got a full beard, haven't you? Me? Yeah. Uh, actually, it's, it's noticeable. Put mm. it that way. It's noticeable if I uh, just leave it for a day. But I do always go through that awkward stage, you know, when it goes patchy? Yeah. It goes patchy and then. I, I kind of go into hiding for a couple of days when that happens. <laughs> do you really? I'll tend, I'll tend to do it maybe at the, the, the Friday night or something like that. If I know Beard hibernation. Weekend, go, go into hiding and then uh, come back on Monday and the, the patchiness has disappeared. <laughs> Nee, Carly's just going, shave off now. Shave off now. You can't <laughs> shave it off now. No, we're not now. <laughs> imagine, imagine that. <laughs> Wake segment. up call tomorrow morning. Shaving Craig's beard. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not a segment that we that want to not, see. No, that is not. No, that no. <laughs> not at all. Oh, now what you got in your hands there? No, it, it's not what you think it is. Oh. So don't get excited. But what I've got is our glitter pens. Oh, I'm excited. So I've got the glitter pens. Now what I've done is I've taken... Last Sunday or this Sunday, Johnny? Last Sunday just on... Debbie Robinson had the craft class with the glitter pens. Yeah. I've popped it onto watercolour card. You could do the same with white smooth stamping card. It's just this is what I had to hand. Now I'm going to go for the golden glow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and instead of paper piecing Ben, I'm going to colour in all of the petals. So we can go into all of the petals here 
And what I will do is I ran out of time last night, so I wasn't able to prep a full finished layer here. So to make it even, what I will do is I will do the four corners here and then we'll assemble the card mm -hmm. and then I'll bring in my finished card that has all of the layers coloured in that you'll be able to see just shortly. Uh, D says, Craig, <laughs> love the beard chat by the way, Craig, have you ever just had a goatee? I think it would look very distinguished. Uh, I've tried all these fancy things, you know when I am shaving quite a bit of my uh, beard, yeah. when I've been uh, shaving, not shaving it off, but when I've been trimming it, then that's just when you know, you know, you do all the funny things, you know, where you have a play with the shapes that you do yeah. in the beard, in the mirror, you know, like leave a bit of a, a goatee with uh, Jim the Anvil Nighthard from... Jim the Anvil Nighthard, yeah, another yeah. Wrestling, uh, wrestling reference there for those of you that don't know. Yeah, he had like a long goatee, didn't he? He did, yeah. yeah. So he had a long one. So yeah, I do try those sorts of things, but I've never actually kept it with mm. anything like that. Yeah. Doesn't I, work. Um, no, I, as I say, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try and get some pictures off, um, of, of the beard, that I, the uh, moustache that I grew last year, put it on my socials a little bit later on. This I, is three days worth for me. Like, if you're looking at me now, I, I haven't shaved for three days, so that shows you how slow my beard... I'll go through that time of life eventually where I can actually, you know, grow beards. But yeah. Oh dear. Gene uh, just saying, I love Craig's beard. Lots of love, lots of beard love this morning. It's, um, it's funny because picking up what you said a minute ago, Ben, a few of my friends have said the same in the fact of they can't seem to grow one mm. um, as easy as I seem to be able to. Yeah. But I, don't, I suppose I'm just lucky in that way. I just let it grow and then I do have well, to obviously keep it neatened, but... Well, yeah, and you do a grand job of that as well, actually. Yeah, but that's hairspray for you. Well, it is. On my oh, you, you should see the preparations that yeah. take place in the morning. I, I mean, when I go in the green room, bit of hairspray, cut, you know, comb my hair, make sure it looks like, you know, nice and neat and tidy most of the time. Um, bit of makeup, he's in there for hours. He's in there for hours. All the makeup, hair, and then he's on the, then he's on the beard as well, and it's like sprays and lotions and potions. He's got the different brush to... Homie's beard. You, I mean, it, when, he, when you get a tag like the Hottie Scotty, you've got to, you've got to really take time, you know, over your appearance. He's got to maintain uh, that kind of look, the high standards that you guys expect, because uh, he's not the Hottie Scotty for, for no reason, you know? You know? That's uh, it's the pain that comes with being the Hottie Scotty, all of the preparation. I'm like a couple of minutes in the green room before a show. He's in there. Usually about 90 minutes getting ready before. Do you know what comes to show? mind when I walk in the in our green room and then come out? What? Cat fishing. What? Cat fishing. What? I look nothing like when I walk out the green room with my, my makeup and hair and beard and all that done. I look nothing like what I went into the green room like. Oh. Totally different. Ah, oh. I, th I don't understand what you just said a minute ago, but um, I thought uh, also you were going to say it's like stars in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, but funny enough, some of us do uh, play about in the green room where we've got the we've got the curtains where we can get change behind. Oh yeah, and yeah. we do that. You know, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be, and then we'll walk in, get changed, and come out. Do you guys have that in the states? Star like stars. In Stars in Their Eyes, this, it was a TV show in the UK where basically normal members of the public, it was a singing show, so normal of the members of the public would come out, uh, there was a chap called Matthew Kelly who was the host, and they'd chat to the host about, you know, uh, they'd give clues as to who they were going to be a famous singer, then they'd walk off uh, to the back of the stage into all of this smoke, and they'd go, yeah. tonight I'm going to be... Did, um, um, Eric Clapton, for example, they'd go in and then like a second later they'd come back out dressed as that person and then they would impersonate them as well. It was such a great show. It ran for about, it must have run for about 10, 15 years. Well, there's a way to say, did, did, like towards the end of the, the last run here, it was Kat Daly. Did she not go to do the American version? Oh, well, I don't know. Well, Kat Daly went over to host something in America. She did, didn't she? I want to say it was Dancing with the Stars or, or something along those lines. I don't think it was... Well, you have to let us know in the comments. Do, yeah. you, if, if, do, do you have a show like that? We, we should definitely do something like that. How hilarious would that be? I mean, we'd, we'd, have, to do it, we'd have to do it in the green room. Get a, a smoke machine behind the little curtain. Yeah. Uh, who, oh, that is a good question. So who, who would you be, Craig, if you were going to do Stars in the Rise? Which single would you... Would you come out as? Oh, uh, uh, Frank think, Sinatra. 
Frank Sinatra? Frank Sinatra. Oh, that'd be a big one to, I know. to tackle, wouldn't it? And you'd it's have to big. shave the beard off as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Ozzy uh, Osbourne, maybe? Ozzy Osbourne! Sharon! I, I, I might have a go at Elton John, I think. Oh, Elton that's John, a good one. Quite a good one, you know, quite easy to, to dress up and I wouldn't have to do, do too much. No. Oh, that, there we go, there we go. There's, there's something potentially for the future. Crafty stars in their eyes. Yeah. Uh, Linny just saying, that was a great programme. I think it would be a great CC event as well. Hint, hint. We'll put it to the bosses. Look at all these ideas yeah. we're coming up with today. Stars in the rise. Tonight, Charity Sarah, beard I'm going to be <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. You'd have to be one of the proclaimers, I think, with your accent. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh. Doing, um, what's and it called? I would work like 500, 500 miles. miles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, that, did they? They didn't have beers, did they? They'd have to shave and just put a big, big, pair of, big pair of glasses on. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that happening. <laughs> oh, dear. There's, there's, uh, there's something to work with there, eh? Yeah. I'm just trying to think who else would do it. I mean, obviously, Debbie Robinson would be uh, someone from Buck's Fizz, I think, wouldn't she? Oh, yeah, she'd need to be. You know, doing the old the skirt rip-off. Yeah. Uh, could do that. Anyway, how are you getting on with anyway, your card? So, while uh, we've just been having a chat, what I've done is I have been layering up onto baby pink letter card and a bit of black card. Now, yesterday I used the alphabet, you know, that come with box number two of the Year of Craft? Oh, yes. I've done it again. Now, I've purposely, because Debbie will be showing you other things that you can do using the sentiments that you've got, wake up call, I like to mix it up a little bit. So I've taken the word baby and I've popped that with in the middle. Now the stamp set, I've done new beginnings. So that's not leading to anything. It's, it's basically just saying new beginnings and it's a baby card. Now what I done is I didn't twig until after I made it that within one of the stamp sets, within floral opulence, you do get a girl and a boy stamp. Now, I didn't realise that at first. So what I've done, also from the Year of Crafts box two, yeah. you've got loads of stamps. One of them was boy and one of them was girl. So I've taken the girl from that one. But of course, you can use girl from this launch day set. And going on with foam pads, but because it's glitter card that I'm going on to, and as much as I love foam pads, it will, over time, drop off the glitter card. So I'm adding some of my tacky glue so that it holds on into place once it's dried into the card stock and then also into the grains of the glitter card. So we're going to go into here. So if I pop this one on, then what I've also done is, popping that there, what I've also done is I've taken some of the dew drops now, um, if you want to do your own dewdrops, yes, stay tuned until the end of the week. All oh, right. Oh, that's a bit, a uh, bit cryptic. What do you mean, end of the week? Friday or Saturday um, or Sunday? Oh, he's having a look now. What? Yeah, oh, Friday. Um, let's. Oh, he's been very sneaky. What are you do? What are you doing there? What? Yeah. But then. 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 Oh, I, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, oh, I know, because I, we, yeah, me and Debbie, just, yeah, yeah. yesterday, just, oh, whew, you might have, if you were last night on um, whew, launch party, you might have just seen a little sneaky peek, what he was just, but if you didn't, you wouldn't have, and he can't now, because he's, no, whew, ah, no. That, that's going to be so good. Yes. That's going to be really good being able to use them. But put, in the meantime, what you can do put it is away. you can use the dew drops. So we're going to take a couple of these ones. We're going to go into the centre of these bits. So we can then take all of these. And where I was saying with the love hearts, the love hearts die cut out that you can then use, the same goes for these flowers. So what we are, uh, right guys, did you hear that Ben? 15% of the stock has gone. Uh, and we're not even supposed to launch this for another, what, four hours, yeah. three and a half hours? 15% of the stock has gone. Wow. Not surprised. Not surprised. Knew whatsoever. this would fly. Knew this would fly at the door. And where I've coloured in, 
You could then, of course, do paper piecing. And then this is the last bit I'm, I'm going to do to finish this. These little circles, these come out the centre of the flowers. So I've kept them. Or, so what I'm going to do is do uh, one, two, three. Let's do one, two, three. I need a couple more. Let's pop them out the centre of the flowers. So let's pick them up, finishing off down the side. So we can go in here. This is fab. Here and then here. And then last but not least, let's do one, two, and then three. And then there we go. We have created our card for a baby. That's that we've brilliant. Got. Now, if you were to use Jade Aqua glitter pen, so Jade Aqua, Yellow Cosmos, and then Golden Glow, you'll get a card that looks like that. Whoa! And remember how with stamped images, Ben, I like going around with my ice grey twos. Yes. Classic. I've done exactly the same on this die cut. Gives it another little bit of a shadow that you can see there. But then that's what it looks like if you colour with sparkle pens. But of course you could use classics, tri-blends, you know, you could be using aqua pens if you wanted to. But that's one of many ideas that you're going to be seeing and Debbie's going to be demonstrating with Ben on launch day, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. 15% of the main collection is gone already. 43 elements included, included the dies with the stamps and your 10 sheets of Centura apparel cardstock. Every single one of you pays £50, $60, however, platinum, £40 or $48. And think of the things that you can do. Colour in the lines, paper piece the lines, foil with the die, create your frames, create your apertures, create your shaker cards, all these different things you can do with this one launch day bundle. It's a real steal, and again, it's one of those sets that's applicable, I think, to everybody, because as Craig was sort of talking about earlier on, if you're brand new, it just creates you a beautiful frame, a be beautiful aperture for your card as a bog standard, uh, card, you know, nothing box standard about it. But if you're brand new, there's not a lot that you have to do uh, just to create a gorgeous card. But then, of course, if you're a little bit more experienced, a little bit further down the road, uh, there's plenty of scope to do so much more. It's a great price. Uh, we'll be heading towards 20% of the stock of this going. Uh, so jump in now, get it before the rush later on. And remember, double points. And also remember, as part of Members Week, if you're not yet a member of Club Inspire, Get signed up, for goodness sake, particularly if you are looking at uh, jumping in and getting this because you'll get 250 points for signing up and you'll get 20% off your first order. So if this is your first order, this price is applicable to you as well. That platinum price uh, will be yours because you'll get 20% off that order. Uh, lots of lovely comments coming in. Lots of love for the, um, the card as well. Um, beautiful card says Jean D saying, I am loving this card. Uh, Mary Lee just saying, good morning from Colorado. Still hot, supposed to be 97 Fahrenheit. That's 37 Whoa. degrees. 37. Uh, so I'm up early to work whilst it's still cool. Yeah, Mary, you said it was, um, it was hot yesterday in your, uh, in your craft room. Did you go in in the end? Um, I love the new frames, especially the botanical frame one uh, and Mandy Doodle hands on YouTube just saying good afternoon crafty friends hotty Scotty handsome Ben and the CC team all oh, will introduce you to the team I'll let Craig do that in just a little while um, just to let you know which team are with us today but of course with it being a Wednesday, we bring you our random crafts of kindness. And just to say with this as well, we are always after your stories. And if you're thinking, oh, well, I've done something like this, we'll give you all the details you need as to how you can get in touch and send in your pictures in just a bit, because we like to feature these each and every Wednesday on Wake Up Call. Uh, but our first random crafts of kindness story today comes from uh, Deborah Fair. So Deborah, thank you so much for sending in uh, your story and your picture here. Uh, Deborah just saying, I made over a hundred of these last year uh, and gave them away to family, friends and strangers. Of course, a brilliant time to be using your soft craft and sewing skills to be able to make um, these for, um, for people, particularly during this time. Uh, and Deborah, wow, that looks absolutely amazing. You must have been busy, uh, but so great that you managed to take pictures of all of these. And again, what a great thing to be able to send off to, um, you know, to friends, to family members, as I say, particularly during this time. So thank you uh, for sending those in. 
in. And those are the kind of stories that we're after, as I say, as well. Times when you've crafted just because, times when you've crafted for a stranger, or maybe somebody who was a little bit down in the dumps, you've made them a card, um, you've sent them something to put a smile on their face, whatever it is, uh, we would love to hear your stories. You can send them in to me today as well on Facebook and YouTube, and we'll read those out, but we'd love to see the pictures um, as well. You can send the pictures to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. If we get chance today, we will show them, but uh, likelihood is uh, we'll show them on a future wake up call uh, every Wednesday here on Crafters TV. Now, uh, whilst you're getting double points, this is a great time to be stocking up on your sort of essential items for your craft room, really. Uh, and this is your 8x8 car bag collection, 104 sheets in total here. Look at the price, £22.38 is your platinum price, $27.92. Uh, and that one I know is flying out of the door. In fact, it is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... Seen. Also, uh, another time to be stocking up on your stamping card. This again is a phenomenal buy. Uh, just under £16 platinum or $23.98 for what that'd be, 180 sheets of white stamping card. It's the kind of time, as I say, that you want to stock up on all of these. That's why we're doing deals like three for twos on adhesives, three for twos on your um, card and paper as well. Because whilst you're getting these low prices, whilst you're getting double points, you may as well stock up, even if you're thinking thinking I'm actually pretty well stocked for things like stamping card and pretty well stocked for you know my paper pads get them now whilst you can uh, because you will get those double points and of course the more points you get the more savings you make as well the higher up you go uh, through Club Inspire to make more savings which is just brilliant right uh, we are uh, ready I think for our next demo and as Craig's been chatting about um, during this next segment, he's going to do a little random craft of kindness himself. Because I think the plan here, Craig, isn't it, is to is to make something and then go and put a smile on somebody's face in the office. I mean, they're a smiley bunch in the office anyway. Uh, but you thought you'd go and choose someone to give this uh, particular project to, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I thought, what can I do uh, in front of all you guys? Because the stories you send and are so like humbling and just inspiring and lovely to hear. So I thought, do you know what? Let's just take a segment from Wake Up Call where I can pretty much do whatever I like. And then what I'm going to do is after the show, I'm going to nip in the uh, next, uh, next door head office and I will gift it to one of, uh, one of them through there. Just to say, you know, thank you. Just to put a smile on their face. Just because. Because uh, it's a random act. I might go and sit through in the office in a bit then, see if you come and, uh, come and give, the, give the project to me. Yeah, it's gone quiet. This may be where everyone else has gone. Mm. Seems to have been quiet. But anyway, anyway, this side of the office. Well, I was, well, I was away to say, this, this side here in the studio side yeah. uh, are included. But no, I'm going to scrap that. It's for everyone. I have decided already who I'm giving it to. Oh, 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 oh. thank you. You. Oh, I can't wait to receive it. Oh, well, uh, oh, by the way, sorry, just before you get started as well, thank you for the Father's Day card that you made yesterday. Uh, you didn't win demo of the yes. uh, demo of the day, so I got to keep the, the dad card that you made. I did actually tell everyone not to vote for you. It's the first time I've ever done that. Yeah. Um, but Debbie won yesterday, so I got the card. So thank you. You're My dad will be very welcome. happy with that. I was hoping I didn't win so <laughs> that you could have it. <laughs> Let's crack on. And what we're going to do is, tell you what, I'm not going to show you the lid. Actually, no, I'm not going to show you in. And what I'm going to do is I've brought in four tea light candles. And certainly, you know by now, it is the good ones. It's Yankee Candle I've got here. Now, these ones, side by side, so I'm coming down here just for a moment. So they are at least three, three inches by three inches square. So what I have done is I've taken my cardstock. So I've taken this... Uh, it's a pink gingham, and then I've taken a hammered white cardstock so I can make the base quite luxurious. And what I have done is I have cut that to five and a quarter by five and a quarter, and I'm going to score at one inch all the way round. Then this is going to fit all four of them in with a little bit of manoeuvrability so I can easily get the candles in and out. Yeah. So score in at an inch all the way round. Then same with the base, I'm now going on into the base side and scoring at an inch all the way round. So we're going in here. And then what we can do is once I have fold and burnished all of these bits, 
we would then come along and we're going to take little notches out of each side. So what we can do is come along and then chop little notches out of each side, which gives me this. Okay. I'm using my red liner tape. You can, of course, use your tacky glue if you so wish. And obviously I'm not going to spend time explaining the way I make boxes and that. You know, the idea of this segment is to, you know, make something in front of your eyes. If you want to replicate it with your own crafty products, then you can do. But we're going back into the lid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my circle stitched edged nesting dies. And first of all, I'm going to go in with a bit of hammered card that we've got here. Hammer card. Hammer card. Do, 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 do. And I do, chose do. the size to go with yep. so it fits into what will be the lid of the box here. So you uh -huh. can see it's just nicely fitting in. Something about hammer card that you can't help but sing whenever you hear the word hammer, doesn't hammer it? Hammer card. Hammer card. Or hammer time, isn't it? It's hammer time, yeah. Hammer time. Hammer card, hammer time. You can't craft this. Do, 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 do. Well, that, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. You can't craft can't this. You can't craft this. But you can craft this. Or you can. Mm. You can if you wish. If you wish. And then what I'm going to do, out of those two dies that I've used, gives me this ring. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for that smallest one. And then we're going to pop this one into place. Here and then here. Run it through our Gemini. And we're going to go through the junior because of the size of this because each of the card uh, layers is five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches scoring it an inch all the way around that will guarantee it will at least fit um the yankee candle tea lights because they are slightly bigger than you know other tea lights out on the market so this gives us our aperture here then what i've done is i've taken a piece of hunky dory's heavyweight acetate and I've cut it big enough so that I'm going to pop it onto the back of the lid. This will then create the actual aperture seal. Do you find you have a lot of time in your daily life to craft for friends and family? Or are you so busy with work that you don't get as much time as you'd like to do that kind of stuff? Yeah, I don't get as much time as I like to. I will always make, uh, obviously, the birthday cards. Mm -hmm for um, birthday cards, Father's Day, Mother's Day, those sorts of things. But yeah, to actually be able to sit and make because I, um, cause I want to, yeah. it's, it's, it can be hard yeah. to actually get the time. But do you know what? This is why not only did I enjoy doing this last night, but I wanted to do something like this because it was nice. I had a look at little bits of accessory craft embellishments that I had lying about. Yeah. Thought, right, how can I use them and include them? Do you find because you're such a, you know, a, a good crafter that like when you're, because obviously it's your birthday on Monday, do you, do you find like friends and family who give you cards and gifts feel that they have to try and craft for you or do they not bother? I don't get like, many cards. Oh, I don't like, get many cards. Because people are scared to give you Exa one that isn't exactly, made. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, and, and no joke, same with Christmas cards. Yeah. I, I don't get many because oh. the, the excuse is, you know, how can I give uh, someone that makes their own cards yeah. that look gorgeous, their yeah. words. Yeah, a bog standard card. A bog standard the... card. Yeah. So they, show, they always say, so I didn't bother. So yeah, so there you go. E, I might try and make you a card over the weekend. And that, but that's what I, I say to everyone, you know, it's genuinely, it is the thought that counts. Yeah. You know, receiving a card, even if it's shop bought, it is the fact of, you know, you've taken the time to go and get one and write it. I don't, I, in a nice way, I don't care if it's shop bought or handmade or that, you know, if you're not a crafter, you're not going to make one, are you? No. So uh, it's nice, it is always the thought. But uh, maybe one day I'll get some of my uh, friends making a card. If any of Craig's friends and family are watching right now, come on, do your bit, make him a card. Come on, seriously. It's not even nice, it's, it's his birthday. Even if it's a bit of photocopier paper with a yeah. Sharpie pen written on it. Exactly right, come on, come on. Uh, there's lots of love for your random craft of kindness, by the way. Sandra just saying, Craig, your random act today uh, could be for the person who's, whose phone was in the cupboard. Oh, Julia. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, she's had a good few hard years recently, and today is her wedding anniversary. I did see that. Um, but I think she, she's not in today. She's so. She's not. She, no. Oh, maybe she, maybe she'll uh, maybe she'll rush in now, knowing that you're going to give this away <laughs> to somebody. Yeah, no, definitely giving it to uh, someone in through in the office. As I say, I know who I'm going to give it to now. Okay. Um, and Anne just asking, what is hammer card? Hammer card. Hammer card. It's it's white cardstock, but it's got a hammer texture. Texture. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a, a, a thin hammered embossed texture. It's hard to see that uh, above, um, but it is. You get kind of like hammer card. You get linen card. Yeah. This is a hammered uh, effect card. There you go, Anne. Hopefully that explains it. And then what I've done is taken another couple small of the stitched edge circle dies. I've gone in and I've die cut one of the circles into the pink gingham. I've cut another one into the hammer card. And then what I've done is I layered it on top, which gives me a little tag that we can see here. But then to hide the actual ribbon, I cut another white circle and then that went over the back and then it hides the workings okay. from your little tag. So that's a nice way to hide them. And then I have these resin embellishments at home. So I've taken these ones. Now I did have a third one and it's obviously dropped off somewhere. So um, thankfully this isn't the one that I will be gifting out. I've got the finished one to the side. But what I'm going to do is use our glue gel. Chunky glue. Chunky glue. We're going to go into the back. Hang on a minute, what are you doing using that? Ch I always use chunky glue for for um, embellishments. Ah, okay. All I always use, um, yeah, always use glue gel for embellishments. Ah, oh, fine. I'll let you off. Okay, a ribbon. We're going to pop that there. And then we're going to do this one here. So building up the little gift box. So we can put that there. Let's take another couple of these little embellishments. So the ones I have here is quite a proud rose head. Are you actually giving the candles away as well? Yeah. Oh, yep. oh okay. Yeah, I'm going to gift the whole lot. Wow. I'll take the candles out of this one and pop it into the finished one at the side. Yeah. Because I won't have time to fully decorate like I have done. I would take the third one and pop it to the side here. And then what I would do is add my tag, but I've got this kind of like a crown resin embellishment. So that one can sit over the top here. And then what I would do as well to finish off, I've got all these little, they're uh, gray pearls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three at each side. And I would still, as I always say, use some tacky glue underneath yeah. to hold the pedals in. But these ones, what I can do is I can fix them when I go home later on and re-secure them. But I'll do three at this one. And then what I'll do is I'll bring in the finished one. And this is the first time you're seeing it because even on my social media last night, I put a, well, didn't quite blur it, but I put like a question mark over the top so you can actually see the finished result. So there's that one. And then also what I would do is into that corner, I'd come along with the tag, sandwich that on, hide it with a gem or a pearl, whatever you so wish. And then there is our lovely little gift box that we've got with the candle tea lights. But if I bring in the one that I finished, so let actually I can still use that base. Oh no, uh, can I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, there's there's the little. There it is. There's. Oh, it's in the box. Anyway, so here we go. Here's the finished one that we've got here. So we've got the ribbon. I put the three gems. I've put the little resin three at the bottom, including another three of the pearls added a pearl at the top to hide the glue gel and then even round the side I've put three pearls all the way round and then I can write the name of who I'm giving that to and then there is our little gift with the candles. That's brilliant. Here. That one being afternoon escape and also garden picnic. 
Fantastic. Are on. you going to take pictures when you give this to the recipient? I will do. Yeah, get, I'll get a picture of me and the recipient as well. Excellent stuff. Well, there is uh, lots of love for your random act of kindness there. Uh, perfect size box, Craig, says Rosalind. You do come up with some great little ideas. Um, Sandra just saying, when I first started making cards, my mum bought some for sending, including one she sent to me on my birthday. Uh, and another little random act of kindness here, or random craft of kindness, I should say, from Mary Lee, who says, when a good friend ended up in a care home, uh, she was very unhappy. I made her a card every day for the first six months she was there, then three or for a week wow. and it helped her a lot Mary Lee that is fantastic and though that's the kind of story um, that we are talking about for our random crafts we're going to feature another one on uh, this show in just a little bit but again don't forget if you've got any more stories like that Mary Lee if you've got pictures of the the cards that you sent do feel free to send those in and we'll feature those and show those to everybody on a Wednesday when we bring you these um, random crafts of kindness. And as we say, it can be anything really, a card you've made to brighten someone's day. Um, I don't know, cards you've made to sell for charity, cards you've sent uh, to someone um, you know, in a care home, whatever it might be, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Send those pictures in, uh, send in your stories and we will feature those over the coming weeks. Lots more to chat about, another random craft of kindness story to bring to you as well and lots more to chat about if you've just joined us it is members week of course i'll give you a full recap on what that all means for you in just a few moments time uh, but if you've got stuff in your baskets right now it's an ideal opportunity to check out your baskets and we'll be back in just a couple we've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed with continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Uh, welcome back, and indeed, welcome if you have just joined us. Uh, just got 8 o'clock on the East Coast, isn't it? 5 a.m. West Coast. This is uh, the Wake Up Call, day three of Members Week. If you've been with us all week, phenomenal. It's been awesome, hasn't it? Tell everybody in the comments how much you've enjoyed the week so far. If you have just joined us, if indeed you are brand new to the channel, my name is Ben, and yes, Members Week it is. We're bringing you double points. We're bringing you free gifts. We're bringing you three for twos and a whole host of items and we are bringing you uh, brand new launches as well your free gift today by the way 
is uh, this uh, Letters from the Heart Wax Seal Kit. It's worth over $14.99, worth $14.99 or uh, $16.95. That will automatically get added into your car if you spend £10 or $10, and that is per order as well. Uh, so you might decide to order during this show, come back later on, place another order. You'll get it again while stocks last. And of course, if you're not yet a member, make sure you head over to our website details just down the bottom of the screen there. Uh, you can go along. Click on the Club Inspire uh, tab and you can join up and become a member. It's free to join. You'll get 250 points, which will make you a bronze member straight off the bat. And you'll also get 20% off your first order as well, which means you will, for your first order, get the platinum price that you're seeing on the screen right here. And the other thing is, uh, as we've been talking about launch day, which is coming up later on, lots of new products, lots of new launches. And we've got a new category page on our website for you as well, just to make life a lot easier as you kind of get yourself around the website. Top left of the, uh, the website, go to new, uh, go down to new at uh, Crafters Companion. And there you go, uh, a full page there detailing all of the new products that we have been bringing to you um, even that water bottle which was flying out the other day is there we launched that on Monday I think it was uh, you got the new craft kit which we launched yesterday box number 37 that's on there as well uh, and of course the new frame stamp and die set uh, which we featured that is there too so it's worth having a good look around as I said you'll find three for twos on there as well um, have a good peruse at your leisure and of course on the website uh, you will be able to watch us as well right throughout the day uh, lots of love coming in for uh, Craig's last demo, that random craft of kindness. Super cute, says Aisha. Great for a party favour. Uh, the tea light box is darling, says Mary Lee. Uh, great job, Craig. I love it. And Terry Tom Addison says, if I were in the office, because Craig's going to take that box and give it to someone in the office later on. If I were in the office, I would put irresistible snacks in the break room right before Craig came in, securing my odds of getting his beautiful box of candles. I like it. I uh, like it, uh, but the, yeah, you've got to be quick when you put the treats in there because they're gone, like gannets, a lot of them, gannets. Uh, let us move on though and show you what else we have got coming up. Uh, we're going to be chatting about the Sarah Signature Letters from the Heart collection on Creative Cravings a little bit later on. Uh, Craig's going to look through it after he's finished sipping uh, his iron brew in his um, Crafter's Companion bottle. You got one of those as well, look at that, there it is. It's cool that little bottle, isn't it? It's cool. Uh, yeah. A really good bottle, really good bottle. I, I use it every day, but even when I'm not at work, it's a really good one as well. I'm, I'm trying to be good. Ever since we had Janine on a couple of weeks ago, when it was myself and Ben that was on, uh, Jenny's Janine. Oh, uh, yes. Boss, um, and she was telling us, obviously, about yoga and that sort of stuff. Ever since then, I've been really quite good with uh, the drinking of my juice. Cause, uh, oh, of your juice, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. have a lot of, you're supposed to have a lot, aren't you? A lot of fluids each day. Yeah. It's a couple of those, probably. Yeah, well, I at least uh, try and go for two uh, of these a day. I try and make it easier for myself, and I try and get one done before midday, before we go live, mm. and now I've got the rest of the day to have another one. If I can drink more, even better, certainly with uh, some of the incredible sunshine uh, that we've had lately. Yes. But then what we can do is we can then, work and go in from that gift that we made a minute ago, you might want to make a card or another project. You might want to incorporate Sarah's signature, Letters from the Heart Collection. This one here is coming up in Creative Craven, 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And then with this one here, we're going to have a look in a moment. You get 99 elements in total. Now, everyone today is going to be paying £44 or $62. Of course, you guys uh, across in Europe, uh, go across to your website and you prices in euros will be there so that on the screen is your launch day we had a look at that just shortly so we will come so I tell you what what we'll do then is we'll, we'll have a look at the boards instead so let's go in and now when it comes to the boards this is going to show you exactly what you're going to be getting works out in total 99 elements in whole because you've got dies you've got stamps you've got layering stamps as well but then you've got this cute little die that does little gift card envelopes yeah. that you can see down here really really super cute now it is too small for one of the store gift cards I always say, don't know about US, but here in the UK, you know the little cards you get if you send flowers to someone? Oh, yes. It's like that size. Really nice dinky size. But then what you've got up on here is your layering stamps as well as sentiments. Dies as well to complement. Then still sticking with your stamps, you've got all these sentiments as well as these little accessory dies, stamps. What these do is these work in conjunction with this typewriter. This is one 
Ben, that so many people have adored. Well, I reckon that's one of the most popular dies of the I year. I think so, actually, yeah. Mm. I think so. What you could do is you could cut your cardstock widthways so it actually pops in behind the typewriter, and then you can add any of these words and fonts if you so wish. Then what we've got is the torn note paper pad. Love it. Well, it creates paper pads. It's your dies. You've got little butterfly sentiments too. Then what we're giving you is your embossing folders. So these are nice strip long embossing folders that you're going to be able to use with your mini and your go. What you would do, just a little bit too long for the mini and the go. So emboss one half, turn it around and then run it through again if you're using your really small machines. Then what we've got is vintage postmark embossing folder. Another favourite when it comes to the embossing yeah. folders. Many of you have been using it in lots of different ways. Still giving you the traditional script embossing folder too. Doesn't actually specifically say anything, but it's nice to have either subtly or quite packful on your projects. And then loving sentiment stamps. But last but not least, we've got classic postmark stamps as well. If you are uh, going for anything today, Ben was going over a minute ago how if you spend over £10, $10 or €10, Euros, you get your free gift. Free gift is the wax seal that is from Letters From The Heart as well. So it's all going to complement just perfectly, as you would expect from our collections as well. So you can see it. There we go. Right down the side there. It's from Letters From The Heart, the wax seal. And you can start to use them and incorporate them with this one if you go with it or if you want to use it elsewhere in your crafting. But I think, Ben, what really does the shouting is by showing off exactly what they can make. Go on, show off. I will show off. You can go for the natural brown, grey, black, white tones that you can see here. But then what about start to bring in the subtle pastel tones with the ivories, but then really go bold with your reds Ooh, as well as that. your blacks. But then maybe incorporate in both colour styles that you can see here. It's kind of like a postmark slash parcel. Yeah. A wrapping a little bit of twine around it or really go pastel tones that you can see here. If you have not got letters from the heart yet, but have vintage diaries, both of them complement beautifully. They're both different colour tones, but you can use each and or with one or the others because the colours work really well. So I thought with this one, what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of die cutting and stamping and we'll make a little gift wallet when it comes to maybe popping little cards in, little notelets if you want to gift it to someone. We'll do that using a few of the elements from this collection. Uh, Michelle is saying, I have the Letters from the Heart collection. I absolutely love it. And uh, the great thing is, again, as um, Craig was saying, if you go, I mean, the saving on this today is phenomenal. Uh, platinum price just there for you. And of course, if you do go for that, you automatically qualify for that, um, the free gift as well, which is the wax seal kit. So that is actually another five elements. So it takes you over a hundred elements that you'll get uh, within this bundle because that um, wax seal kit, of course, you get for free. So definitely worth thinking about jumping in for. Um, it's it's one of my faves and it's one I did a craft along with um, Jam with actually. And uh, yeah, love it. Love that typewriter in there. Love the little die that allows you to make that little um, little packet as well. All the other bits and pieces that come with it. And it's one of those collections as well, isn't it, Greg, that overlaps with some of the other Sara signature collections that we've got as well. So it's, it's doubly versatile. It is. It is. Because there's, yes, there's the colourways, there's the styles. What I'm going to do is let me bring this one. I'm way too... Just bring my notes in quickly because when it comes to the discount that you're getting, originally here in the UK and Europe, it was 15% uh, percent that it worked out. You guys statewide side was 10%. However, uh, because it's member week, the, diff the discount for everyone has come down a further 25%. So this is where, as Ben was saying, this is when it really is an incredible, incredible deal. There are some of these that are available individually on the website, so maybe you only want to cherry pick a few two, then what you can do is you can do exactly that and there's 10% off all of the individuals on the website. What I would do in those cases, if that is the case that you're wanting to do, have a look at see what you're going to get, then tally up the price because it might actually might actually be worthwhile getting this bundle than just a few of those individual elements but as always and always when it comes to crafters companion and crafters tv it's what suits you best that's why we like to put bundles but then that's why we like to do individuals as well 
But what we've done is we've taken the large torn edge, and I've cut this in white smooth stamping card, and I've taken the neck size down, also in white smooth stamping card. And then before we add some ink in, I'm going to bring in the script embossing Ooh, I love folder that one. pen. Mm. It's so good, this one, isn't mm -hmm. it? Really good. And one that so many of you are using throughout your crafting, not just from this Letters from the Heart collection, but from all your different projects that you're doing at home. And I am thought I seen... What are you looking for? I've got a little bit of low tack tape. I want to take it off because if I cut, if I leave that and then I come along with my water reactive inks, because it's a coating, it's going to resist it. Oh, uh, okay. Going to be left with a little... Hey, well, you've got good eyesight to pick that out. Oh, dear. It was the uh, the glimmer coming from the light. Oh, was it? It made it uh, shiny. And I thought, yeah, yeah we need to uh, we need to sort that. But running it through. And although this is a 2D embossing folder, I really want that impactful look when it comes to the emboss. So I've added my metal shimmer. Brilliant stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you for all the comments coming in. Lots of you saying how much you love this collection. And that's the other thing too, if you are um, fairly new to us here on the channel, keep checking back in the comments, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, see what everyone else is saying about these collections. If you're thinking about jumping in and you're wanting like testimonials as to how good these products are, read those comments because we get them all the time with people who've got the collections, have loved the collections, have used the collections. So um, chat amongst yourselves on Facebook and YouTube ask questions as well and if we don't get around to answering them chances are is that someone within our little crafty family will be able to answer that question uh, for you as well so keep the comments coming through what are you up to next so what we're doing is we're going in with some pink tulip and i'm going all the way around by adding some ink on i'm only doing the edges for now and then what i am going to do is i'm going to come in and we're going to coat all the way over the center but keeping it rather light within the center and then we're going to go back and we're going to add a bit more depth around the edges. Which ink pad are you using there? Sorry? Which ink pad are you using there? Uh, pink tulip. Pink tulip. Yeah, pink tulip for this one. It's actually a wee bit darker because there's a bit of red on this blending pad. So it's gone a little bit darker. In saying that, it still works quite well. Yeah. So uh, I'm not overly concerned. Now we've done that one. What we can then do is come along with our adhesive we're going to bring that into the back and we've gone oh ran out finished let's bring another one tracy's got us uh, well stocked up before she uh, went off on her days off yeah yeah i noticed that you got everything you need down there now aren't you the uh do in the uh, what do you call it your, your new bench as it the were new bench, all yeah. stocked up and ready to go all nice yep. and neat and tidy all neat all most tidy. of the time yeah, it's great Make sure everything's there, nice and tidy, because I like organisation. I've not noticed that about you. I like organisation here in the craft room, but not when uh, it comes to my own craft room. It's your own craft room looks, when I ever see your Facebook Lives, it looks really, really tidy. Or are you doing the old crafters trick? Because there's been so many times when we've done things like craft houses <laughs> or, uh, you know, we've had guests on and their craft room looks tidy. And you go, oh, you've got a really crafty, uh, really tidy craft room. And they go, oh, yeah, you should see the other side of the camera. Is that the same with your craft room then, is it? Uh, you know, yeah. I, I, I should obviously clarify the fact of usually it's nice and tidy, but as I am crafting, and crafting away, what happens is uh, it gets messy, it gets inky, and then it just becomes a bomb site. <laughs> in saying that, it could be nice and tidy, it could be a bomb site, but if you ask me where something is, you know I can where tell it is. you. Yeah. I can tell you exactly where it is. Yeah. That's the same in my little man cave slash studio slash study thing. My wife's always going, you know, oh, it's so messy in here. <laughs> Is that what she says? It's just what she sounds like. But I, but it may, I I think it looks fairly tidy in the first place, but you know, if she's looking at it thinking it's messy, I can tell you where everything is. Exactly. So, you know, I know it's an organized, it's an organized mess. Organized so. chaos. Yes, exactly right. Exactly right. That's what I think. I think that anyway. You just know where it is. Yeah. Because there is actually some organisation to it. Certainly in my 12 by 12 storage buckets behind me, I know where my stamps are, my dies are. Oh yeah, because you've got like a full on row of like um, storage behind you, haven't you, in your craft yeah, room? I had to go to Ikea on Saturday and get another one. Oh, did you? Yeah. 
but that is the, the last one. I cannot fit any more storage in my craft room now. That's it. The last remaining space, and I've filled it now. If I get a bigger house soon. Do you know what it is as well? Is because we are carrying more and more hunky dory and more and more hunky dory shows. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of the products or the main products. But what I do is uh, we uh, keep some of the main ones at my house. Yeah. Because I'm the one that needs to prep with them and then use them in between shows. Yeah. So we've got that as well. But it is an Aladdin's cave of Crafter's Companion and hunky dory, and obviously sticks to products as oh, well. Oh yes, of course. When's your next uh, Facebook Live? Tomorrow night. Oh. Yeah, so tomorrow night, I am on Wake Up Call, obviously, you know, I am. I meant to say I am on Cartload. Oh, okay. What we're doing, 10 p.m. here in the UK, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, yep. 2 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, I'll be doing a Facebook Live from home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a preview tease as to the launch that myself and Joe have got on Friday on Crafters TV. Wow, okay. I was going to do it tonight because today is the only wake up show that I've got. It's the only show I've got of the day. However, I thought, no, it works better if I do it the night before. More exciting and yeah. more fun. Because we will be doing crafting. So I will, I did put a post up yesterday. I'll remind you all again. But we'll get everything sorted, all the cameras and that sorted before I come in and do the shows on Thursday. And then literally, as we come off air, I will jump in the car, head home and get sorted so we can go live. And we'll do a preview and we'll do some crafting. Fantastic stuff. You've got a little film crew as well at your house. Have you do, do all the cameras for you and stuff? Uh, well, the film crew that I've got are camera stands. Ah, okay. Yeah. The one issue that I've had the last few times is the lighting, because it's a small room. But when I was in uh, Ikea, I bought some strip lights. Oh, wow. That, you know the ones that would go around your TV? Yeah. Bought some of them, and then they're going to make it brighter so that we'll be able to see a lot clearer when it comes to the Facebook Live. So you're presenting, producing, directing, I your am basically. camera, your lighting. The f so you're the, full, you're the full thing. Yeah. Wow. Doing it all. Multi-talented. It's quite an easy job, actually. <gasps> Whoa! Johnny and Charlotte, I think that was a little dig there. Little dig. You haven't said hello to them today, by the way. No, I'm not. It, it. Oh, Charlotte doesn't want to say hello she to you now, apparently. She doesn't want to say hello to me. No. Mo afternoon, Johnny. Oh, here he goes. Afternoon. Seems <coughs> she doesn't want to say hello to you. Good Af afternoon, lovely Charlotte, my absolute fave. Hi, Ben. How are you, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, I heard you're singing on Saturday, you guys. Is that you were singing the um, Foam on a Roll song? I'm loving the fact that you've uh, you brought that alive without me. It was brilliant. Did you were you were you in for that, Craig? No, I wasn't me. Oh, uh, uh, that was brilliant. You need to go back and watch it. I'm so pleased that you guys are loving the songs. Anyway, back to him. Anyway, you di digress while I'm in the middle of demo in Charlotte. Of <gasps> course. So what we've dear done dear. is we've done the layer and stamp here, and also gone round using the pink tulip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that one here. And then there we go. That's all that I'm going to do with this one. But what I have done, for anyone that wants to know, is it is uh, that pattern paper that I use, 21 centimetres by 21 centimetres. And on our envelope maker, what I've done is I scored at line C and E. But what I've also done is using that main outline die uh, from the torn dies, I've gone around and I've stamped and coloured a few little cards that we can oh, see here. Oh, nice. And then what we can do is we can then bring these ones in. We can then, I've wrapped some ribbon round. So we can then pop them ones in here. Close it. If you're like Debbie Fisher and loves the wax seal, you've got that in your free gift. So you can come along and you might want to seal it using that. Or using your ribbon, you can then go tie it and then tie it on the back. And then what we can do is there is 
little project. Oh, hey, that is fab. Cute little project. And do you know what? Even though it's in Boston Inc., if you still want to write the recipient's name, you can do. Mm. Maybe do a little bit of die cut and using one of the other torn edge and a white smooth stamping card. Pop it into the middle and then that, of course, will be the name tag. But that is uh, one thing that you can be making. You can follow that style and obviously uh, carry it on and do a little bit more or go bold and add more detail to it. But this is part of the Sarah Signature Letter from the Heart Collection. 99 elements. Everyone today pays £44.62. However, if you are platinum, £35.20 or $49.60. Grafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Now, this week is certainly the time to stock up on all your additional elements as well, such as your cardstock, your adhesives, etc., etc., which, funny enough, including some accessories from our Gemini range, are all on separate three for two deals. Absolutely, they are. And don't forget that um, signature, sorry, signature letters from the Heart Collection will get you your free um, gift as well because you're spending over £10 or $10. And how great is that? That the free gift is the Letters from the Heart White Seal Kit, which works perfectly with this collection. It's worth £14.99 or £16.95. You just think we throw these things together? Oh no, oh no. Um, we'll have a look at this in detail a little bit later on uh, when Debbie Fisher is in the building. Woohoo! Uh, thank you for the comments coming in as well. By the way, just to um, answer Evelyn's question, uh, Craig's Facebook Live on Thursday. So, te uh, yes, 10 p.m. So that will be five, won't it? Yeah, five yes. o'clock East Coast, um, just to repeat that. Um, and lots of love for that last demo coming up. People want um, a, a tour of your craft room as well, Craig. I used to say, <laughs> uh, can I have a tour of his updated craft room? That would be a Facebook Live on its own. Uh, and Nee Connie on YouTube is saying, Craig is the whole package. He is, isn't he? The total package. The total package. That's what I always say about him. Um, right, it is the uh, Random Crafts of Kindness Wednesday. Uh, and basically during this particular show, Wake Up Call, we're after your stories of when you've used your crafty skills to put a smile on somebody's face. Um, and we love you to send these in whenever you fancy. We'll give you all the details as to how you do that in just a few moments time. Uh, but Patty Baumgartner has been in touch with us and I sent us some lovely pictures. Thank you for all of these, um, Patty. These are fantastic. Uh, and Patty just goes on to say, um, I made this card for a friend who just had surgery. Uh, this friend has had a lot of health issues this past year uh, and finally resulting in surgery. I'm hoping to put a smile on her face. Well, I know absolutely uh, that will. A cup of tea makes everything better. Patty, I love that. Thank you so much, and I know uh, whoever you're, uh, you're giving that to, your friend will absolutely love that card uh, and certainly put a smile on her face. Um, as always, just again to tell you, if you want to send in your random crafts of kindness, uh, do get in touch because we're always after your stories and we'll be bringing it back again next Wednesday um, on Wake Up Call. There's the details. Send in a few words about the particular card or project that you've taken a picture of. Uh, and uh, send it to a studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, producer Johnny just telling me you've already sent in a few today ready for next week. So thank you for those. Get them in. Uh, show us how you've been so kind with your craft. Right, we've literally got about five or six minutes to go. Possibly one of the best deals of the day, I think, as far as you know, if you're looking for a real steal of a deal on a budget, uh, the outline dies. If you haven't seen these yet, let's go over to Craig. Wait till you see the deal on these. Uh, yeah, you're going to be saving 70% on this one here, Amazing. limited stock as well. Uh, very quickly, Ben, car, the only thing is, well... Oh, put, well, no, put in your, ba put in your baby car, put in the... Um, that one. Letters from the heart. Yeah, put in that one. Yeah. So although we did make that, that is going to be the, uh, the card of the show. Need to put that one in. Here we are. So here we go. This is the deck. Oh, so that's the card of the show, is it? We could, yeah. they could, because you could have oh, done the yeah, other one. Oh, yeah, I've done two, You did I? two, yeah. Yeah. Should we well, vote? We'll do... Let's vote. <laughs> Come on, we'll only get told off if we don't, Craig. That's so, true. get them out. There we go. So, we've got the baby card using the brand new frame, stamp and die set, coming up just shortly with yep. Debbie and Ben. And then we've got number two, which is from Letters from the Heart, little gift Ooh, cards. That, that is tough. Inside. Ooh. 
One or two, one or two. Get voting now. You've got two minutes to get your votes in. Um, yes, and obviously we'll put the winner through to the uh, demo of the day vote. Right, Craig, what can you show us in the last couple of minutes? Right, yo, let's have a look at these. These are our outline dies. Now, what I've got is these ones here so that you can see. We've got Sweet Succulent, and it's exactly that. It's your outline dies. Now, these were brought out and designed. These are um, a modern take on the old-style peel-offs that you used to get, you know, with all the little sentiments and that on them. But this has now gone uh, into the year, well, came out, was it last year that they came out? But that one's sweet succulent and you've got your sentiment stamps to go with them. But included, what you've got is in full bloom. So many of you that have this one do this for paper piecing. Mm. And I'm not surprised because it's a cracking one to be using for paper piecing. Colour in if you so wish, like I done with the baby card. But what you're getting within uh, the set, the two dies with all those sentiment stamps as well. Everyone's paying $11.99 or $14.97. But platinum still even an hour and a half uh, coming at the end of the show £9.59 I'm just shocked bonkers shocked isn't it that one or $11.98 but do you know what you can go to town on the design and the colours that you go for so if you want to go all bright as if you are in uh, the desert then you can do but if you want to keep them all your dark craft cards Maybe you want to go all pastel, then you can. But then do your shading with your alcohol inks. Do your shaker cards if you want. Do your paper piecing with your mirror card. Or do you know what? Do it with any sorts of cardstock that you've got at home. But that one itself is an unbelievable cracking deal. Saving 70% on that one there. I'm not surprised that already it's going to be a limited stock item because uh, I think it's one that many of you are thinking that'll be either good for gifts or just to have within your stash if you've not already got it. Again, going with the uh, launch day product, these are going to be good. The outline dies with the foil press as well. Nice outline die. But that is what's coming up in Creative Cravings with Debbie and Ben. 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, right, I've moved back to my other seat now not because I got told off I stayed in that seat too long yesterday and Craig, Craig told me no, off. No, never. That, that's Don't. His chair. He was no, like, get out. I never. Get out of my seat. Um, the de <laughs> the demo of the show. <laughs> the demo of the show result is in. Have you brought your card? Oh, he has brought his cards with him as well. Uh, the winner is... <laughs> Ow. Number two. No, number no. two was the baby. Yeah. Number two. I know, I'd done them the other oh, way. Oh, that was number one. Yeah, but I had it as number two on the set. I had, I had it number one and number two. Did you? Yeah. Oh, so baby, oh, okay. So baby one, yeah. Baby. Yeah. Baby one. Baby one. Good. Excellent baby. stuff. Baby. Chuffed to that one. Do you know anyone with a new baby that you want? You've uh, taken my dad card yesterday. May as well have another one. <laughs> oh, you could save it up for uh, save it for our Kelly, who's gone on maternity leave. Oh, right you? enough. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, she's going you off to that Friday, one. so you could it's save it. Be carely. You keep that one. You keep that one. Send yeah. it to the team. Yes. If yes. it goes missing, I know where it's gone. Um, right, here. Well, that's it for today for me. Anyway, but I am uh, going to go home and I'm going to prep for tomorrow's show. You are uh, a part-timer after today. Going yep. to have myself and Ben back in, uh, myself and Joe back in for the last couple of days. But with it being, of course, Wednesday, what we've got coming up in the day is launch day. So Debbie Fisher is going to be taking over the rest of the day. That, of course, is going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. But then creative cravings. So we've gone over letters from the heart. We've gone over the light outline dies, but there'll be so much more to come as well. 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. What's going to be a good one? It's going babe. to be off the chart, isn't it? Going to be amazing. It is. It is indeed. It's going to be an amazing one. Johnny, Charlotte, are you in for that one? John. Oh, Johnny's in, but Charlotte's not. Oh yes, they they are. Uh, they are both in for that one. So that is then going to be tomorrow, but you still have the rest of today on Crafters TV to come. Do make sure that you can go across onto my Facebook and you'll keep updated with everything I'm going to be doing tomorrow. However, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu is the place that you want to go. Double points on everything to celebrate Club Inspire Members Week. And then you've got your free gift. So if you spend more than £10, $10 or €10, Euros, so that's £10 or more, you're going to be getting that free wax seal kit. You don't need to do anything. It goes 
goes straight into your basket and it wings its way to you. Nice little one to have within your crafty stash or maybe you just want to pop it in for a secret Santa. No one's going to know. They're going to think, oh my gosh, they're so generous. So generous. So generous. In actual fact, you got it for free. I won't tell. Will I won't tell? tell. I won't tell. I'll say nothing. My lips are sealed. Johnny, will you tell? You won't tell. No. Charlotte, will you not tell? She no, won't. she won't tell no. either. No. I won't tell, you won't tell, Joe will tell. Just don't tell Joe. Just don't tell Joe. No. Don't tell Joe on that one. Um, so, thank you so much for all your comments and your company as well today on Crafters TV. We're going to see you exactly the same time tomorrow where myself and Joe, we're going to do it all over again as we lead into the weekend. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.